Hi, my name is Blanca and I'm here on behalf of the Kidney Foundation of Laredo. And today is World um, Kidney, World Kidney Day, yeah, Advocacy Day. <laughs> it has, it, depending on, on the association that you're working with, like there's National Kidney Month, there's World Kidney Day, and then there's Advocacy Day. So that's why it gets a little bit, um, you know, the name gets a little bit changed around. But we're here to promote kidney health because in Laredo, we have about 900 patients right now actively on renal replacement therapy. And the, and the Kidney Foundation of Laredo, we're a local nonprofit that helps dialysis patients, active dialysis patients. And we're here with uh, the volunteers of the group, which we all, we all work in the dialysis community. We work with, um, with uh, the 900 patients that we have here in Laredo. And we all distributed among the 10 different companies that are here. I mean, the three different dialysis companies that are here in Laredo. Um, so today, like I said, the advocacy is mostly something we're working on because renal issues, they're not always obvious. Most of us have some sort of, of, um, of health issues concerning our kidneys, and we're not going to know most of the time until it's too late. So that's what we advocate for, for testing. We advocate patients to know what the, the, the term G GFR means, what your creatinine means, so that patients can can know that that's what you want to trend and see how you're doing through your lifetime with those two numbers. And then you can associate them with how your health is going to reflect in the future. Um, three years ago, more or less, we did a, a, a local advocacy event and we had all the nephrologists in town. At the time it was six, maybe seven. Now we're at 10. We have a few new, a few new nephrologists in town. And, um, so, but they all, we asked them, what was their number one thing for, do you recommend your patients to do it? And it's, if you have diabetes, if you have hypertension, keep it controlled. So that's what today is about, just bringing the, the awareness to Laredo. Um, and we're using your, you know, this platform, you know, with the community so we can help uh, more people in Laredo be aware of what kidney disease and how to trend your health with it and what affects it more than, um, you know, compared to the average uh, person, you know, who doesn't have diabetes or hypertension. Um, Pat is our executive director. She's been our executive director for the last, um, few years. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm going to invite her here to the podium. Yeah. You, you want to say something before we move on to, to the proclamation. She's a social worker with satellite as well. I pretty much put it out there as to what we do and how we're here to help the community. It's such a distressful time to be told you're ill, you're going to need a long-term care treatment. And so the, the adjustment phase is so difficult for patients coming in new to dialysis. A lot of them feel like this is it, it's the end of my life. As they are progressing, as they're hearing everything from the social worker, dietitian, the nurse, they realize there is life after dialysis and they can lead a full life working, you know, being active in the community. We get them involved with the Kidney Foundation, so that always helps. But we're here to relieve some of that stress, whether it's a little bit of the financial or the transportation issues that come up. We help in the nutrition supplements and getting them coupon tickets with the city uh, of Laredo or in the rural community, we help them with El Aguila metro tickets, things like that, that, that are gonna relief or provide some relief for them. So it's always good to, to have people in the community helping us. We have events throughout the year and this is what keeps us going. And we are recipients of United Way, so they also um, help us to make sure we have those funds available. So thank you very much for today is, uh, is like Blanca said, it's a world recognition day and uh, we're here to, to be recognized as such. Okay, thank you. Before we go into the proclamation, let me just say a couple of words about kidney disease from a doctor's point of view. We've been seeing a been practice for over 40 years. And uh, why do people fall into kidney disease? Besides being on the uh, statistic group, uh, ethnicity, there's a lot of other factors than when people are told that they are on kidney failure 
they can't imagine how they got there. And we have to educate people. I think awareness is very important before people get to this point where they have to go into dialysis. But it's very devastating to a person to tell them you need dialysis or your kidneys are failing and that's it, there's no coming back. Uh, it's, it's very devastating, like almost like saying, telling me you have terminal cancer. So before we get to that point, I think it's very important for people to have access to medical care, access to lab examinations, and regretfully we are medically underserved here. There's a third of the doctors that are here to provide services. We're the number one port in the United States and second to last in medical services. So that is important. We have to focus on what we need to do to improve the situation. Now, the thing is to have people know that if they have diabetes, hypertension, or, or in the ethnic groups that have kidney disease, to make them aware that they could end up in renal failure and dialysis. So all this is important, and we see that every day when we tell people, hey, your kidney function is going down, you need to control your sugar, you need to control your hypertension. Oh, yes, yes, I just had a, a cake or something. Yeah, but you can't do that. You can't do that. Or what do you want, eat cakes or have dialysis? Oh, that's when they realize, that. hey, wait. So this is very important. Education, I think, uh, is at the forefront of, of what we need to do. And we need to promote and have more awareness here in the city of Laredo. I think that's, that's crucial. Uh, do we go into the proclamation already? All right. Office of the Mayor, City of Laredo, Texas, Proclamation, National Kidney Awareness Month in Laredo, Texas. Whereas, there are an estimated 37 million adults in the U.S. with kidney disease and one in three adults in the U.S. at risk. And, whereas, early detection can help you successfully treat kidney disease, but only if you know your risk. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, and are overweight, or have a family history or of kidney disease, you may have a kidney condition. If left unchecked, kidney disease can lead to kidney failure. And whereas, people who are black or African American or Hispanic or Latino are at increased risk for developing kidney disease. And whereas, it is critical that attention be brought to this often overlooked but increasingly common disease. And whereas the month of March is National Kidney Month and March 14, 2024 is World Kidney Day. The National Kidney Foundation believes that everyone should have an equal chance at healthy life, regardless of their ethnicity or cultural background, and is committed to putting kidney disease and its risk factors front and center with context of health disparities and needs of all kidney patients. And whereas, the National Kidney Foundation is calling on everyone to participate in raising awareness of kidney disease. Now therefore, I, Dr. Victor Di Trevino, by the authority vested in me as Mayor of the City of Laredo, County of Webb, State of Texas, do here I proclaim the month of March 2024 as National Kidney Awareness Month in Laredo, Texas. Thank you.